everyone. Uh, quite a while ago I posted a video of me doing the inside of my computer so I'd show you what I've got and all that jazz. Uh, it's been quite a while since I did that and I've updated my computer quite a bit. So I thought I'd share the updated version with you. Right, so, and these are red fans. Um, as you can see everything is in there really tightly. Like, I've tried to uh, hold it all together and move it out the way but it, it is so much in there that I can't fit it in. It doesn't fit it in properly. Uh, it's quite a weird um, tower layout. I find it's um, quite difficult. I'm not sure if it's the way the towers are arranged but if I have this power supply which is a Corsair obviously it's 750 um, it kind of, I have to put everything in upside down, Woo. so it all, um, for example, I have to, if you can see, oops, just jabbed that, I don't know if you can see, this one, which connects the HD, the hard drive, I have to put it in upside down, like this is upside down right now, it's kind of a pain in the ass because you bend the wires the way they shouldn't be bent. But anyway, let's get started, so first of all, this, the, um, the motherboard is, uh, blue. It's got little blue accessories. Um, it's a gigabyte. It's a GA 78 LMT, and it's got USB 3s, which are on the back. With I've got my Wi-Fi in there. Um, it's got my printer and stuff. It's got four there, I believe. Four USBs there, and then I got two, two on the top there. It does have an onboard Ethernet, but it doesn't work for me. Like, I can't get it to work. I've installed the drivers and everything, and it doesn't work. So if you're going to buy this motherboard, um, I'd still buy a Wi-Fi dongle, because it doesn't work for me. And moving on. Obviously, you've seen the power supply, 750. Um, I went above what probably I should ha like. I, don't, I probably don't need 750, but it's always best to have more power than not enough. So, moving on. My processor, which is located under that fan, is an AMD FX quad core. Um, I used to have just a dual core, now I have a quad core. I didn't go for like an i5 or an i7, mainly because I couldn't afford it. Then behind these wires, in in the, in the, in this gap, is two eight gigabytes of RAM, and they're cru crucial, crucial technology. Uh, so together, I have sixteen. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have a graphics card which is a AMD Radeon HD 700, 780 series, but to be more exact, it's an MSI AMD HD 7850 and it's a 1 gig. And I have a hard drive which is um, 1 terabyte. And in this little gap here, I have a SSD which is 120, which has my operating system on. So it runs up, it runs, starts really quickly, um, and anything like Photoshop and stuff is on there. So the process is on there really fast. Um, my startup time is probably uh, about five to ten seconds, I think. Oh, I'm saying that now. Now I'm not sure, but that's having an SSD. They quite. It was quite expensive. Um, I only got 120 because literally it's like nearly 100 quid for the next one up. Um, so yes, that's pretty much my my new PC. I will put the products in the description if any of you are interested in purchasing, but I doubt it. Uh, that is the video for today. So it's not any gameplay, but it's an update on what I have. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you all very soon. Bye!